Hi, I'm Tara with Rock Rage Radio of the Carolinas. We have nothing more here with us. Agreed to do an interview with us. Good so, to be here. How did you feel about playing the first Louder Than Life show? You know, it's funny. I just found out uh, just a second ago that this is the first one. And I was on stage. I was like, this is our first time at Louder Than Life. And now I'm like, oh, I'm an idiot. It's the first time they did the festival. Walk. So uh, it feels great, though. Um, this is an amazing lineup, so I think Louisville is very fortunate to, to have this lineup. These two days are just, I think, in a lot of ways, it blows a lot of the other festivals that have happened this year out in the water. Yeah, the amount of amazing bands, so it's really a pleasure. Um, everything here, just for me, has just been so laid back. I mean, the artists, the staff, the whole band has just been amazing, just being able to work with them. Yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad they put it on here. Um, what do you like better versus like the big festivals like that, or do you like the smaller venues where you get more up close with your fans? Uh, they're two different experiences that I like each differently. Um, the, the up close and the club thing, if I had to pick one, I do like that a little bit better just because you, you're more connected to the audience and you can see their faces a little bit better. They can see all the little details and everything on stage. But the festival is always kind of an adrenaline rush. It's a totally different thing. Cool. Um, do y'all have like pre-show rituals that y'all do to warm yourselves up to get ready to face? Yeah, us? we do a big vocal warm up that we sing together. It's really weird sounding. If you ever, if somebody walks by and hears us doing it, they're always kind of giving us this weird look. Um, we sound like I don't know, like a dying goat doing scales with all these weird syllables. But we do that and then we uh, put our hands in the middle and we yell Bill Brasky, which is a Saturday Night Live character from one of their sketches back in the 90s, I think. Anyway, look him up, Bill Brasky. Good, Bill Brasky. good stuff. We, we tribute to him every show. Um, if you had to like give some advice to the local musicians that you know, want to get out and start it and make sure have it for themselves, how would you recommend it other than you know, the hard work determination? Um, the most important thing I, I could think of is, first and foremost, connecting yourself with people that are committed individuals. Um, you can, if they're not committed in other areas of their life, chances are they may not be committed to the band um, when the going gets tough. So, uh, my dad always taught me this. He said. Watch how somebody treats someone who is not important when they're around you. Like, it's not how they treat you when they need something. It's how they treat the, the person at the store or the, the waiter or the waitress. You know? So just observe people and find the right people because it's like a marriage. You're going to be stuck with them in a van or whatever like for years if you continue doing music and you want to make it so you got to find the right people and then second after that is just being honest with yourself at every step of the way and have people around you who are honest with you and have good advice that's the hardest people that's the second layer of finding the right people because at the end of the day um, every band, there's so many bands out there that are doing it semi-successfully, but they so many times don't have people that are truly honest with them, even when it hurts, and sometimes when they, they need to hear it so that their songwriting can get better or their live show. And those are the two things I could I could say a million different things. You know, there's so many. But those are the two that are coming to mind right now. Let's just hypothetically speak, if nothing more can put on a four band show to go on a small tour with, what would be your other three bands you'd want to join? Uh, a four band show. Carnival, which is a band from Australia, a very progressive band. Tool. Uh, nice. I've been a Tool fan my whole life. Maynard. Uh, Rage Against the Machine would come oh, back nice. for a reunion. And then, well, that's three. And then, 
then you would be the fourth. I guess we'd be the fourth, but oh man, there's so many bands that I want on there too. But let's just, I'll leave it at that. Leave it at that. Yeah. We want to thank you so much for interviewing us today. Um, y'all yeah. guys, I've seen y'all this week's my fourth, but yeah, fourth time, and I'll bring it every time. Every time. That's the reason I'm about for. So thank you Good. so much. Good. We did it right. Yes. Thank you so very well, much. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you guys. Um, we do a Yeah. Awesome. Hey, this is Johnny from Nothing More, and you're listening to Rock Rage Radio. Thank you so much, Johnny.